Okay, Cindy, uh, I know you've got a question for me, and I know Tim's got a question for me out well, of sports. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. As usual, mine is uh, a topic around the world that everyone's talking about. What was your take on the slap that was heard around the world on Chris Rock? Chris Rock. I, that's a good name, Chris Rock. You like is that? That's real You're, name. Yeah. You know what? He was, Will Smith was lucky it wasn't the other Rock that we know. Oh, Can yeah. you? So let me ask you, do you think he would have hit him if it wasn't? Uh, hmm, that's a good that, question. Let's say, you know, The Rock. You know, Dwayne Rock. Johnson, that great yeah, big guy. Yeah, I know the big guy. think he would have gone you, up there if uh, the other Rock yeah, was there? Yeah, I think he would have. Really? Yep. You don't think that would have been a deterrent? No, I wow. really, do, I really believe that uh, Will Smith is uh, the kind of guy he is, and uh, he felt that uh, he was insulting his wife, and uh, I like it. <laughs> Gotta love it. Well, Gotta love. Do you well, think he should have been kicked out of the no, arena it, it, or doing whatever? Doing that for the press. I mean, let's face Everybody's it. Everybody's covering their ass. Now. Oh, we should have. We should. Yeah, stuff yeah. like that. The, the, the press is left wing. I mean, uh, yeah. All you have to do is watch the. Le- yeah. Watch TV, and all the press is left. And let's face it, Dad. All he had to do was say he's sorry. There's only one person I know in the world these days that gets crucified in the press or does something wrong and doesn't say they're sorry, and that was you. You're the only <laughs> yeah. person yeah. that stuck by what they said. And just look at it. Well, it just seems today, even with raising little kids, no matter what you do, all you have to do is say you're sorry, and then everything is wiped clean. I, I don't I don't believe that. I don't believe in you. That's why I respected you so much, where you didn't backpedal. You know what he should have done, though? Like I, Looking at Will Smith, he shouldn't have swore. If he just would have said, shut up and don't talk about my yeah, wife. that was bad when then he, he swore. Then I think the people would be a less, but he swore twice. Yeah. He just, just said, Well, that, that shows that he was really upset. Well, you could see he was. No, no, he really wasn't upset because if you see, he laughed at Chris Rock's joke. And then he, the wife gave him the look. Then he go, uh-oh, I, sh- I guess I shouldn't have well, laughed. Well, he, he didn't. He laughed originally. But he was, you could see when he said, when he was swearing, he had that look in his eye like he was mad. Oh, he was mad. And there was no doubt about it. I, I you make fun of, uh, of a guy's wife, uh, disease, uh, and even if the guy didn't know it. Yeah, he said. I know they, a guy that that has that, 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 that disease, I guess it's called. Yeah. I know and, a lot of dogs that have it. Like yeah. The dogs that I groom, there's a lot of dogs that get that. Well, you have the story where it was kind of the other way around, that you were uh, at a bar after a game, and one of your teammates got into a fight. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah. You got into a fight, and uh, you had just pulled Cindy's tooth out with a... Oh, yeah. with a, So tell that story. First of all... Uh, yes, I did take a pliers and I did pull her tooth, but it was hanging by a little bit, little bit of. So how old were you, Cindy? When I that? was probably three or four, and I remember. No, you did it more than once because when you used to say, you know how you like when you're a little kid and you play with a tooth when it's loose, and you'd always, is that tooth loose, Cindy? And no, no, it isn't. No, <laughs> go get the pliers, and you had oh, these little geez, that tiny, terrible. little tiny, tiny little pliers. <laughs> Uh, they were like little needle nose pliers. Yeah, and they even left the blood on the pliers too. Oh, was stated and all this. And Sounds I'd have, terrible. No, well, it it, it toughened me up. Well, this, it this toughened tooth. me up. It toughened me up. So I look back at it and I go, "Yep, I was." And you open your mouth and you pulled it out. So I guess well, you're out of only a, hanging by a little. What do you? I hate yeah, to say it. A little a piece of thread. A th- a, thread. Yeah, but it's still blood. Okay, so anyway, you pulled. So it, anyhow, you that's pulled his tooth out. And so you I were telling t- the story. T- t- and and mat- naturally, your mother had to tell everybody. <laughs> and so, and she was, we went to, a, we went to downtowner afterwards. That's right. We always, we used to go to the downtowner yeah. afterwards. We were sitting in the bar and um, sitting in a corner. I remembered, I remember where she was sitting and everything. And um, Dick Gamble had a fight that, and he didn't, didn't win. We'd just say he didn't win. <laughs> and he didn't know how to fight. So... She, uh, his wife Ethel was she was uh, she was beautiful wife too she was and she was really giving it to me like really you know you know I don't mind getting it once but after a while it gets a little about sick. my tooth yeah about your well, tooth I'm sure mom played it up oh yeah <laughs> no she kind of added a little <laughs> stuff there I th- I thought it was terrible so I said I said to her too bad. Your husband's father didn't teach him a little toughness too. He wouldn't made him. He might have won the fight. She was coming after me with her claws <laughs> and her purse. 
Well, with her claws, with the thing, and she, I mean, she was, you couldn't believe it. How could but, you not stop laughing at that one, well, I imagine? I, I didn't know what to do. I, like, and then I started to laugh because so I- probably got her more upset the more you were laughing. Well, she would, if she had got across the table, she would have dug her nails into me. And her husband I, did nothing. No, he, just he sat didn't do there. nothing. He didn't do nothing. He just sat there. Well, what is he going to do to me? <laughs> well, that's true. That's true. Anyhow, that's the story. So, well, anyway, so how that's, did we get into that? Well, well we're just talking about oh, I slap, see. and then you kind of, same situation. You made fun of a guy, and then his wife stood up for him. Holy, did she ever, boy. <laughs> I never forgot that. But, no, I believe I I kind of like the guy walking up and slapping the guy. Uh, and I don't like, and of course, he's wiping the floor with himself now. Yeah. yeah. As usual. I said, I, that's what I said to my wife. I said, he shouldn't apologize. He just should have said that was, that. he should have said that joke was totally off base. My wife has a medical condition. You can't make a joke about a medical condition. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and left it at that. No, but he, he, wanted him, he wanted him back. And he get, he's getting expelled from all of yeah, no. <laughs> all that it'll be, it'll, nah, you know be back. He has enough F U money as you always Anyhow, say. You, know? you asked me a question and I told you I'd, I admire the guy going up slapping the guy. 